solvents here we are going to see a chapter called as projections of solids in the subject engineering drawing let us get started in this video i will describe how many types of solids are there and how we are going to project them that we are going to see in this video projections of solids in this basically we need to know how many kinds of solids are there like for example cylinder is considered as a solid then there is cone cube pyramid prism tetrahedron and etc these are the kinds of solids when we talk about cylinder it looks like this having a circle at the top and even at the bottom and having a height this is a cylinder then there is a cone which is having a circular base and an apex which is at say point O. Next, there is cube. Which is having all its dimensions as equal, that is length, width and height are equal in case of cube. Next, pyramid. Pyramids are of different shapes and they are defined based upon their number of edges of the base like there may be square pyramid having four edges at the base then there will be pentagonal pyramid having five base edges then hexagonal pyramid having six base edges and after that there is even octagonal pyramid having eight base edges so a pyramid is defined based on the shape of its base like for example here I have drawn the diagram of a square pyramid in which we have four base edges and it is forming a square Next, all the base edges are connected to a point or a vertex which is point O. So, this is a square pyramid. Similarly, we can have pentagonal pyramid which has 5 base edges, hexagonal pyramid which has 6 base edges. Then, there is prism. Prism like I can consider cylinder which is having at top a circle and even at the bottom there is a circle. So, cylinder can also be considered as a circular prism next cube can also be considered as a prism it means prism is that solid in which the base as well as the top they are same it means if at the base like for example if I draw a hexagonal prism Hexagonal prism has hexagon means six sides at the top and even six sides at the bottom and prisms they have all their faces as rectangles. It means whatever is the shape of the top and the base the faces of the prism are in the form of rectangle. Like in case of pyramid the base edges may be of any given shape it may be square it may be hexagon or pentagon but the sides are triangular faces in case of pyramid we have triangular faces in case of prism we have a 
rectangular faces. So this is the basic difference between a prism and a pyramid. In case of pyramid, the base edge or the shape of the base defines the pyramid and at the top it is connected to a common vertex or a point or we can say a corner whereas in case of prism the base edges define the shape that is here it is a hexagonal prism and hexagon is there at the top and bottom whereas all the sides they are having rectangular faces next there is tetrahedron which is like a triangular pyramid Tetrahedron is that solid in which all the faces are triangular as well as the base is triangular. It means we keep tetrahedron anyhow we are going to get the same shape. The same is not possible for some of the solids like for example pyramid. If we are not keeping it on the square edge, if we tilt it onto the triangular face then the orientation changes. But in case of tetrahedron since all the faces even the base is in the form of a triangle even though we place it anyhow we are going to get the same shape so that is a tetrahedron next in case of solids as I have defined the vertexes for cone and for prism in case of the other solids we have these edges or they are also called as sides like even in case of prism here we have edges or sides. If the prism is of hexagon shape, it will have six edges. Then it will have six rectangular faces. If there is square prism, then it will have four base edges, four sides, and we can say four rectangular faces. So in short, here I have described how many kinds of solids are there. When we are talking about projection of solids, in that case, we would be tilting these solids. That is, the solids would be given to us in the initial condition, like they are resting. Then, we have to tilt them at a certain angle. Now, that angle will be about an axis. If we are having a solid, like for example, a cylinder. Here is the axis of the cylinder, which is the axis of symmetry, which divides it into two equal parts. So either we can tilt any of the solid about its axis, like there is cone, there is cylinder, we can tilt them about their axis or we can tilt them about their base edges. Even in case of pyramids, here I can draw the axis. Even in case of prism. So here we can say that either the solid will be tilted about its axis or it can be tilted about its base edge or any of the given conditions. It means the solid will not be stable like this. In the initial condition, the solid will be resting. After that, depending on the question, we have to make it inclined and when it is inclined, how it will look like from the front view and from the top view that we are going to draw in case of projection of solids. First, we are going to start with two stage problems in which there would only be two conditions and finally we are going on to three stage problems in which there will be three conditions. So in short, this was an explanation regarding the introduction of projection of solids.